everybody, Harry Dog here. Welcome to this video, which is going to be a detailed walkthrough for creating CFG files for Andy Sinden's hacked version of MAME 2016 to run the Sinden light guns on the Raspberry Pi. If you haven't seen my first video on setting up MAME on the bare bones image, I suggest you have a look at it. This guide isn't just for people using the bare bones image. If you compiled Andy's version of MAME for your, your own image on the Raspberry Pi then this will work fine. Essentially it's a way of configuring the controls for the light gun for individual ROMs on MAME. Unfortunately the, the nature of the way that it's set up is that each individual ROM has to have its own CFG file with the controls remapped. Uh, don't worry if this sounds too technical, I'll, I'll walk through it step by step. But essentially, each individual game needs to have a corresponding CFG file. Now, if you're using the bare bones image, you'll see if I just load up uh, Win SCP here, this is logged into my uh, light gun running the bare bones image. If we have a look at the ROMs for MAME, which are in the arcade folder. Uh, you can see all my arcade ROMs there and then they have a corresponding CFG file which is in the subfolder MAME2016 CFG and there you go so what these files do is essentially remap the controls for the light gun so if we go up you'll see alien3.zip has a matching file alien3.cfg so we open that up for editing I'll just show you uh, essentially how it works but then we'll we'll go into how you create a file like this so the way that the emulator has been hacked is that these tags here so let's have a look at this tag uh, so this is the tag for the movement of the light gun and it needs to be remapped to a joystick control. Again, don't worry if this isn't making any sense to you because as I go in and, and show you how it's created, hopefully it will. Uh, so this particular machine is, uh, oh, what do you call it? Uh, a positional machine, it, it doesn't actually use a light gun. The, the guns on the Alien 3 arcade machine were mounted essentially to a joystick so it's weird that these tags don't come up as light gun they come as P1 AD stick uh, and P2 AD stick uh, but they're, they're the light gun controls and then I'll, I'll show you on a few other machines in fact I'll show you now something that was a genuine light gun machine bang you'll see that the the tag is P1 light gun X and the fact that all these machines have slightly different architectures and they use different tags for the light gun inputs is why that each individual one has to have its own CFG file and I don't think there's a, a quick or easy way around it. If you're using the bare bones image it already has all these files on it so these are files that I've created for uh, games that I play uh, but we're finding new light gun games all the time so if you'd have a look at my website uh, you can see in the download section there's uh, an archive here of uh, CFG files and this contains Lucky and Wild and Beastbusters which isn't on the current version of uh, Bare Bones it'll be on the, the next version so if people follow this tutorial and they come up with their own files, please find me on the Sinden Discord. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, let me know and I'll add them to the archive and then we'll have a, a big online resource that, that anybody can go to and get the, the files and that'll save everybody a lot of time and effort of, of creating all these files. I did all these in, in one day and it, it was a day of literally playing every uh, arcade machine, light gun arcade machine ROM that I recognised as being an arcade light gun ROM uh, and writing the file for it. So I think the first step I will do is 
quite bravely delete the CFG file for Alien 3 and we can see how that is configured. If I can find how to delete it, this wireless keyboard doesn't have a delete button on it. There we go. Am I sure? Uh, sure as I'll ever be. There we go. So I'll switch over to the Pi and just show you what the game runs like without that file. Okay, so I've loaded up the Pi and we're going to start Alien 3 without the CFG file. So you will need a keyboard plugged into your Raspberry Pi for this because uh, we're going to access a menu within it. So hit the tab key on your keyboard and go to input this machine. So here we see all the uh, input options for this machine. There's player one button one, player one button two, and then the analog controls. So the things we want to change are button one. So in order to write the CFG file, we need to set this to something that isn't default. What I usually do is just hit escape, so hit enter to define the control and then escape to set it to none. Uh, and the two analog controls we're looking for is uh, stick X analog and stick Y analog. So we've remapped four inputs here, button one, button two, the X analog and the Y analog. We hit escape and exit the ROM. There we go, and we'll pop back onto the PC. And here we are back on the PC. I'm just going to refresh that and we'll see Alien 3 CFG has appeared. So here we can see those four inputs that we set to no control. Player 1 button 1, player 1 button 2, AD stick X, AD stick Y. Uh, so this is the point where we type in what those controls should be. So for button 1, which is the trigger on this machine, it is mouse code underscore one underscore button one I believe hopefully and for button two it's mouse code one button two now for the uh, analog inputs for the direction, if we have a look at the PDF that came with the Sindon drivers, we can see these codes here. It's a uh, joy code. So there's joy code R X axis and joy code R Y axis. So these are always mapped to the right joystick. You don't need to know that, but it's uh, yeah, it's always going to have this R prefix prefix on it. So R X, and then for the Y axis, it's going to be R Y axis. This may need to all be uppercase actually. Bear with me. There we go. And we're all uppercase now. So I'll save that. We hit save. Make sure in your Win SCP that actually saves the file. And we'll flip back to the Pi. So here we are with uh, the Pi loaded up. I'm going to start uh, Alien 3. And I've realized that I didn't set the uh, coin button or the coin input so before we do anything we want to set up uh, a coin input so if we open up uh, let me grab the, the correct keyboard 
if we open up that tab menu again we can go to input this machine and you can see our CFG file has been read because uh, player 1 button 1 and 2 are set to mouse button 1 and 2 which is the trigger and reload on your gun uh, and those X and Y inputs are correct uh, coin 1 I didn't set so uh, to set this up quickly without re-editing that, that CFG file I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to hit a button on the gun to do it uh, so I've, I've hit the uh, back right button on the gun and it's set it to keyboard alt B so get out of there and I'm pressing the button on the gun hit the trigger to start and the game should load up fine so this is a very jumpy cursor I'm in an incredibly bright room and uh, very close to the TV but there you go that's working fine with line of sight so that's player one set up Player 2 is going to be slightly different, and I'll tell you for why. This version of MAME doesn't acknowledge two sets of mouse buttons. It'll happily notice two sets of uh, mouse cursors, but the buttons it will only do for mouse 1. So the way I've got around that is by remapping, hard remapping the controls for player two so that when you pull the trigger or do the reload it thinks it's a keystroke not a mouse click so I'm just going to show how that works with this method of configuring files for MAME uh, so input this machine and we'll look at player two uh, so player two button one will set to none play button two will set to none and same with the analog sticks also uh, coin 2 I'm gonna leave and the reason I'm gonna leave it is that in this remapping this arcade remapping that I've done uh, I've set the buttons on the gun to be the main defaults if that makes any sense so uh, coin 2 is keyboard six well I've, I've set it up so that uh, MAME thinks that pressing the button on the gun is keyboard six so don't worry about changing that uh, so we'll get out and see how that looks on the PC so here we are back on the PC and let's open up the Alien 3 CFG file so as you can see our old tags are still there, player 1 button 1 is mouse code 1 button 1, player 1 button 2, mouse code button 2. So now we look at the uh, trigger and reload for player 2. So I've set them to keystrokes and this is the bit you need to remember. The keystroke for button 1 which is the trigger is H and the one for button 2 which is the reload or in this case the grenade is uh, I and then we need to change the uh, access codes for the <laughs> player 2 analog control if that makes sense so player 2 AD stick X and player 2 AD stick Y so these are almost identical to uh, the ones that we used uh, for player 1 so I'm looking at player 2 AD stick X should be joy code 1 or X axis no it shouldn't it should be joy code 2 obviously because it's the second joystick uh, so let me pop that down there joy code 2 Y axis so for the stick Y it's our Y axis for the stick X our X axis and that should be everything set up so 
that is a remapped control setting for <laughs> Alien 3. Uh, so now we fire up the Pi and pray that that, that has worked. So back on the Pi, hopefully for the last time, uh, we go into our light gun scripts. As you can see, start player 1, start player 2, and start player 2 arcade. So if you're going to play this game, you need to start with the arcade, and that will hard map the buttons to keystrokes rather than this player 2 thing, which is uh, trigger and reload on mouse buttons. So the real difference between these two is that the regular one is mapped to mouse buttons and player 2 arcade is mapped to, to keystrokes. So start gun 1, hopefully that works, start gun 2 arcade, and then we can go into our game. Fingers crossed. Sorry if the uh, audio cuts out here, I have to turn away to the <laughs> from the mic to get my guns. And pressing the buttons on the guns, these are the back right buttons. Starts the game. So that's about it, I think. Controls fully mapped. It's not tracking particularly well because I'm in an incredibly bright room. But that is how you write the CFG files on MOME 2016 for the Cinder Light Gun. Uh, I know it's been a bit of a, a long video, but there's been real demand for people wanting to know how to make these files. Uh, as always, give me a like and a subscribe if, if you'd like to see more of these videos. Uh, it really helps me out. I've got loads of projects on at the moment. I'm uh, making a PC version of Bare Bones, which hopefully, I'm, at the moment, I'm testing it out on Mac, so we, we might see uh, Bare Bones working on a, an Apple Mac, which would be cool, running Linux, of course. Uh, yeah, loads of cool stuff going on. So. Uh, yeah, check out my website. I'll put the links in the description. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to uh, Titch, Titch Gamer, who helped me create these files in the first place. Uh, I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description as well. But I think that's about it. Thank you very much for watching.